After Black Monday, perhaps you could call it Wobbly Wednesday. Asian shares have been veering in and out of negative territory despite China's cuts. And here to bring us up to date on equity markets is Peter Garnery, he's head of equity strategy here at Saxo Bank. And Peter, clearly the Chinese haven't done quite enough to restore confidence. Where are we now? Well, in China specifically, in the last trading session, we had a 9% trading range, which is insanely high and just you know, tells us that volatility is, uh, has no end in sight. Uh, we're also seeing it it's bubbling into the, uh, into the European uh, equity market as well, where we have uh, large uh, trading regions and, and European equity markets are down a little bit more than 2% across the board and is obviously led by some of the more cyclical uh, sectors like automobiles and, and financials. So I think we have to get used to high volatility for the coming days and maybe, uh, maybe weeks. Uh, that's also what the history tells us, that it, it takes time for volatility to sort of uh, calm down. Uh, what we know, which is also the response we got from China, is that policy makers are in red alert and they will do everything they can, they have pull up every tool in their toolbox to, to calm markets down and, and that's what we're going to see. And that's one of the reasons why we think there might be some opportunity in playing volatility at this point in time. Which brings us on to the next question, which is what's your strategy? So if we, if we take the, sort of the long view to begin with, we, we continue to dislike energy and materials, so miners and, and uh, oil services and, and oil producers. We don't like that due to China. There is overhang of supply and there is a weakening demand in China, from China, so that those two sectors will perform poorly. Then in, in Europe, we really like the healthcare, discretionaries and financials and staples. The financials and staples are domestically driven because we have a positive view in Europe, which is driven by the weaker euro that drives exports and thus a higher employment in Europe and that's higher domestic oriented growth rates and that benefits the financials and, and stable discretionaries and um Discretionaries in healthcare have very high sales outside Europe, so they benefit from the weaker euro because when, it's, when their profits and, and sales are translated into euro, they, they see higher growth rates. So that's basically our, our long view. Short term, as I said, I think there are opportunities in, in volatility. What I'm looking at is, uh, is actually selling uh, volatility, and you can use a specific instrument called the XIV, which is an inverse uh, volatility um, ETF. It's traded on the, on the NASDAQ exchange. Obviously, you need to have tight uh, stops, and that's also what something that we want to emphasize to, uh, to our clients but also investors out there that you don't put too much leverage on at the moment and, and really keep your exposures tight. If something really gets ragged out, you have to cut down your position or, or even put in stops so you don't get caught on the, on the wrong foot. And the big question out there for investors and analysts is, could this get worse? Surely it can. I mean, there's a lot of talk out uh, in, in the town about you know, we have these risk parity asset allocators. It's, it's, a, it's a strategy that has become extremely popular where you balance equities and bonds and then you leverage those returns up so you can get equity-like returns with bond volatility. Uh, and, and because you use leverage, then when, when everything, when the correlation uh, when the correlations don't work as expected and you have leverage, you, you, you have to cut your positions and that's what we're seeing in, in equities and as we talked about yesterday, you have these value at risk models that when you have an explosion in the, in the tail, so when you have very uh, large declines, then all the risk models just say cut your exposure, cut your exposure and that's what we're seeing every time we have a, an, an intraday rally. People are using that rally to sell off their uh, their equity stakes because they want to bring down that exposure. And that's what we saw yesterday in the S&P 500, where we were up two percent and we ended down more than one and a half percent. So, uh, so yes, it, it can get worse. But I think if you have a really long-term view, I think uh, it's still there's uh, some great opportunities in, uh, in the equity market.